Hi, my name is Wayne. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about something very important. Is um, talking about uh, towing your vehicle, and you're probably wondering why would I tow a car as, of this caliber? You know, nothing could be, uh, nothing can go wrong with it. Well, nothing can be further from the truth. I'll give you a little story. Um, when I had my 2016 S550, I converted all my run flats to normal tires, and I was driving locally close to my home, and um, my tire pressure indicator, you know, showed me that I'm losing air. So I got my air compressor out, started putting air in it. The the tire wouldn't take any more air. So I'm like, what's going on? Only to find out that I had a cracked rim. So called uh, AAA. AAA is great to have uh, in case of emergency. They were able to um, tow my car, but not really tow my car. They put it in a flatbed. Tore it back to my house where I had a spear and put the spear on and within an hour I was back on the road again. So in a, a situation like that, you need to know how to um, set up your car. You know, everyone put their car in neutral and everything like that. For, but all, for all car, they're going to put it in a flatbed truck. You got to do a little bit more than that. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to take you to the computer. I'm going to show you a few slides, bring it back, actually show you the procedure. And um, hopefully you'll learn a lot from this video. All right. So we're on the computer. I'm going to show you permitted towing method. And we're going to start with a vehicle with automatic transmission, no formatic. And it's going to show you, um, can you raise the front axle and tow it? No, you cannot. Can you raise the rear of the car and tow the car? Uh, yes, you can if the steering wheel is fixed in the center position. Now, for all vehicles, which we have a formatic vehicle, um, both axles have to be on the ground. The front and the rear have to be on the ground. Can you tow the front? No, you cannot. Can you tow from the rear? No, you cannot. And um, there are times where the uh, towing company will send a vehicle out there. The guy find out that you have a certain make and model of the car. They'll send that vehicle back and send a flatbed um, instead. In my case, they call me. I spoke to the towing operator. He said, what kind of vehicle you have? I such and such. Oh, you need a flatbed for that car. Um, and they go ahead and they send that that flatbed uh, truck out. I'm going to show you another picture of um, proper way of putting that vehicle on that tow truck if it's a flatbed on one of these 18 wheelers that have multiple linkage like this. You cannot do this with our vehicle. It has to be lined. Make sure that the front and rear axle come to rest on the same transport vehicle, which is this. There's no break in between. All right, so what we're going to do next, we're going to go back to the car. I'm going to show you the procedure, what you need to do. And yeah, everybody knows that you have to put the car in neutral, but for our car, we have to do a little bit more. I'm going to show you that now. All right, so let's go back. Hi. Okay, so we're back inside the car. I'm at the side of the road, and I'm pretending that I'm waiting for the tow truck. And not only um, a tow truck, let me be correct, um, a flatbed truck. The um, computer um, slideshow that I showed you, this car needs a flatbed truck. And um, so we're gonna go through a, a, a few procedure. Uh, it's gonna be quick. I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna try to do it nice and slow, and trying to explain myself why you need what and what and what. So the first thing that we're gonna do, you have to side of the road, whatever reason you are, you call AAA. This is your tone company, and um, the first thing that you want to do, you want to prepare before that that um, that not that tow truck, but the flatbed truck comes to get you. All right, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to get the tow bar. This is a tow bar. I did a video on this um, before um, when I had the 2016. This is in the back of your trunk, underneath the carpet. You lift it up. This is what the tow truck driver is going to do. I'm going to change the camera view. I'm going to walk in front of the car. I'm going to show you where this goes. This actually goes into the front bumper. Take You move the plastic slot. Um, you turn this, and you turn it, and you turn it until you can't turn anymore. All right, so this is what the flatbed truck is going to do. They're going to put a winch. They're going to pull your car up that flatbed on the, on an the incline. And um, the last time I did this was I had the 2016, and I was, like, um, grinding my teeth because the bottom of the car was almost touching the bottom of the flatbed truck. So now I know better, um, older, smarter, wiser, and I'm going to teach you the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and switch camera view. We're going to go inside the, the car finish up the procedure and um, try to memorize it. If not, keep this video in your arsenal for future references and um, it's going to help you out. So 
this is in my center dash where everything is convenient. I don't have to go in the back. I always come prepared. Um, so we'll put this back. I'm going to go ahead and change the front view, go to the front of the car and show you where that actually goes into. And of course, I'm going to put my hazard light on just to simulate that, you know, I'm waiting for that tow truck. All right, so this is where this tow bar goes into. You remove the slot, this goes in, you turn it, you turn it, you turn it, and you can't turn it no more. And this is what the tow truck driver is going to do to put the hinge on. So let's go back in the car. All right, so this goes back to the center console. Close this out. And um, so the car is running. There's a bunch of things that we're going to do. And um, let's do So I'm going to just read them out to you. So uh, deactivate the um, automatic um, locking mechanism. Um, do not activate the whole function, which is normally on the screen when you press your foot on the brakes. If you press your foot on the brakes like this and hold it down, this only um, works if the car is in drive and you move the car and you press and you hold down the brakes. See that whole feature? That's a no-no. So we don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that's off. The next step is to um, deactivate the active brake assist. Make sure you shift the car into neutral. Everyone knows how to do that. Let me go ahead and turn off the light. We don't need it. All right, so to put the car in neutral, make sure you put your foot on the brakes, which my foot is on the brakes right now. And we can either push this up or we can push it down. We're gonna go back to the center of it. Center here and neutral. Everybody knows how to do that. All right, so let's go ahead with the procedure. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put it back in, um, put it back in park. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna unlock, uh, do the automatic uh, locking mechanism. And we're gonna do that by uh, coming to the door. We're gonna press this, hold it down for five seconds. We're gonna hear audible tone. All right, there go the audible tone. Automatic locking procedure, procedure is done. Uh, the next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into the vehicle system. We're gonna turn off, turn off the brake assist. We're gonna do that by coming here, pressing this guy. This changes. We're gonna go down to assistant, hit this, go down to active brake assist, and we're gonna turn this off. And we're gonna come out of it. All right, so that's done. Right now, the parking feature is on. What we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull it up like that and that's gonna disappear you see what I did I'm gonna go ahead and uh, engage it by pushing it down down that way but for the procedure here for the tow truck we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull it up towards us and this is gonna disappear I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up now that's gone the last procedure that we're gonna do we're gonna press this this is the height it's gonna raise the car you're gonna press it first and look at the indicator sign it's gonna say vehicle rising and I don't know if you can hear the sound but the car is actually rising we, if you look at the car hood as a reference you can probably see something All right, it stopped. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna press it. We're gonna hold it down for five seconds until we see maximum speed, 20 miles an hour on the dashboard, and this red light starts to flash. So let's go ahead and push it down, hold it down for five seconds. Vehicle rising, please wait. 
So not only did it raise your car about an inch, it raised it again after the inch so that when your car is being pulled by the winch, you have a good height clearance where your bottom of your car is not scraping against that flatbed truck. And if you can see the little icon on the left, it's preparing the car for to be pulled by that flatbed truck. You know, we wouldn't have to do this if we this car didn't have so many face, um, safety features built into it. But it's a Mercedes, and that's what you should expect. And I don't know if you can see the height of the car actually going up, but um, this camera doesn't do justice. And one very important thing I want to mention when that, all right, so there it is. Maximum speed, 20 miles an hour. This is not flashing, this is not ready. One thing I want to make sure to you, when that tow truck comes and you give him the tow bar and he's go ahead and he's in front of the car, you want to make sure you put your foot in your brakes. You don't want that car rolling, rolling over him or causing any kind of injuries. I always want to make sure that when we do these videos, we want to keep safety in mind. But <clears throat> that's basically it. Your car is not prepared to be uh, winched on the back of that flatbed truck. You're ready to go. You know, that's the basic procedure. So hopefully this helped a few people. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do everything in reverse now. Turn everything off. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back here. Hold that down for five seconds. All right, you hear the audible tone. Now we're gonna go back in the computer system. We're gonna undo what we do, go down to assist. Go down to active brake assist, put it back to early, which I had before. We're gonna come out of it by hitting the back button. All right, I'm gonna put back my parking brake. I'm gonna um, press the pedal. I'm gonna push this going down that way. I'm looking at the dashboard. All right, park is back. All right, now what are we gonna do? We're gonna get rid of, how do we get rid of that um, maximum speed 20 miles an hour? According to the manual, manual, it's supposed to do a certain thing by holding it down. Press and hold the rise button for five seconds. It says lowering. We'll give it a minute or two. My light is now off. Just have to give it some time to do its thing. To make sure that that's off, turn off the hazard button. I'm gonna put my car, put my foot on the brakes first. Put this in drive and it's, it's, it's all for good. So hopefully you learned a lot. Um, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you soon.